Hello freedom lovers and welcome back. So it's no secret that the Biden administration's border policy is failing spectacularly. But in this video, we're going to look at a very old clip where Thomas Sowell shares an effective border policy. And then we're going to discuss about that. Hello, yes, I have a question for Mr. Sowell. Shoot. Uh, Mr. Sowell, I live in Germany and I've, I went there 10 years ago and I'm an American. And when the borders fell in Berlin and we let East Germany be a part of West Germany, now we're all one, uh, we realize something that is basically happening with Mexico here in America. And my question is, uh, because of Yugoslavia and all of the other countries that are infiltrating into Germany, don't you think uh, there's a lot more land here in America, and why the greed? You, you lost me about greed. Well, I think um, what I'm trying to say is, if we're a land that in God we trust, and Jesus says, let the children come to me, wouldn't you agree that we need to open our arms to Mexico? No, because uh, every country has to protect its own borders. There was a time when every, virtually every country in the Western Hemisphere uh, not only allowed but encouraged immigration on a massive scale because they had the land and they needed the resources and so on. Uh, it's not at all clear that if you were to throw the borders wide open, let anyone come who wants to, that this would still be the same country 50 years from now. But don't you find it interesting that the same people who advocate for keeping God out of everything would not waste a single moment to quote the same God you're trying to push out of their offices and government when it seems to favor their interests? And what is funny is that they always quote it out of context, which is normal because they don't even know what they are quoting, but they just feel like it could be good to score some points and maybe make a really dumb argument perhaps look less dumber, even though it only makes it look even much more dumber. I find it funny that Thomas Sowell just says you lost me at greed and he doesn't even dwell on the poor misquotation of the scripture that the man tries to introduce into these because certainly he must have seen this type a lot over the years, especially from the alphabet people who just think God is love so we have to let love, love, love be love and gradually we've seen the envelope being pushed from I just want to love the person I want to love to I just want to marry the person I want to marry and now we're gradually seeing people saying that consent can happen at any age, love is love and right there we're witnessing the fall of an empire but of course there must be a solution and how do we decide who we let into the country and so uh, in a sense you can't let everybody come to America because if everybody came to America it wouldn't be America anymore so that that's not an option that we have uh, the most we can do is try to weigh many very different kinds of considerations well judging from the success of various groups in your book who should come to America how should we decide Oh, I, I'm, that, that, that's a much tougher one, but I think that uh, we should say that we do have the right to decide. And if people who come here from country X do well and make America a better place, then let more people come here from country X. And if people who come from country Y simply come here and uh, become a burden on the American taxpayers, then less people should come from a country Y. Whoa, that sounds like meritocracy. And I think right now you can hear liberals screaming all over the place. Honestly, this sometimes can be unfair. When you look at countries in Africa like Nigeria, which some Nigerians, you know, the bad ones, have given the country a bad image internationally, it makes for that even the honest, hardworking, visionary, passionate Nigerians get to miss out on a lot of opportunities because of the negative image that others have given. But then there is no much that can be done because that is how humans we are designed to be biased and make prejudices based on the information that we have. We cannot judge and test the character of every single individual or every single person from country X. So we are forced to, like Thomas Sowell says in his book, Discrimination and Disparity, just do a group assessment. One of the problems we have uh, is that the welfare state makes it very expensive to let immigrants in. So you have a, you have a country like uh, New Zealand whose total population uh, is less than that of New York City, you know, and, and they have all kinds of barriers against immigrants. Uh, you know, they've got 60 million sheep there and 3 million people yeah. uh, and, and vast amounts of empty land. But the point is, once you put your foot on New Zealand soil, you're entitled to all kinds of benefits at the expense of the taxpayers, and therefore the taxpayers don't want you. So it's not just a question of uh, the number of people in the land, it's a question of what kind of system do you have. And one of Germany's problems, one of the reasons for the great hostility to immigration in Germany, is that they are a welfare state. If this was a place where you, sh you come in and it's up to you to support yourself, I suspect you'd have a lot less res resistance to immigration. Okay. 
And so we see that this bias and prejudice is actually enabled by the welfare state because the welfare state focuses on helping groups of people, empowering the group, helping the group instead of empowering or treating and judging the individual. So without a welfare state, it means that each and every individual is responsible for themselves and therefore they will somehow not be directly linked to whatever country they are coming from for their actions. But if we're going to have a welfare state where we are bent on helping the group, then I believe certainly we will be forced for efficiency purposes have to cut off some parts of the group which seem to be counterproductive to society in general. So there you have it, who should be allowed to come to America, and not just America, every other country like Europe that is facing a serious immigration crisis right now in the Mediterranean Sea from North Africa. We'd like to know what you think about this in the comments below. Please share it down, and if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that bell if you're new, and until the next video, stay free.